Okay, here's uh, David Rountree. Uh, How are you doing? Welcome, Hi. David. Good to see you again. Good uh, to see you. Can you bring us up to date as to what information you found out so far? Well, when we began in episode one that we shot, uh, we were basically studying this building here and looking for any types of, of clues as to where the actual kitchen might have been. Yeah. And uh, we went through a series of, uh, uh, prior to episode one, we went to a series of where we were utilizing uh, psychic medium Tracy Ray to uh, remote view and to give us some clues. And we actually identified the area uh, where the original kitchen stood in the original building that sat on the footprint of this building. Hmm. Um, when she physically came here, she began to get information in that room as well. Um, of course, the culminating part of it was the night that we took her walk from the actual back of the building when she was pulled from the kitchen, when she was drugged across the field in her actual murder. Yeah. And we were actually able to locate the scene of where the body was found, which we have since confirmed that that's where it was. Uh, and all along the way, we gathered uh, you know, anomalies in the environment that we could not explain. Uh, we had increases in gamma radiation, we had uh, increases in static energy, we had increases in very unique biological looking waveforms of EMF hmm. that were in these specific areas. Uh, so we have some anomalous readings that we can link to these areas uh, that were identified by Tracy. We were also able to identify information coming to Tracy, uh, emerging into the environment, so that her information was a local effect with a non-local source, uh, which has been very interesting in studying the, the whole mechanic of how psychic and, and psychic mediums work. Um, but you know, instead of me talking about this, let's let's bring Tracy yes. Ray in, and we can talk to her herself. Is Tracy Ray? She's an empath. How are you doing? Hi, Tracy, again. Welcome. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you've experienced uh, up to this point, coming from the previous sessions? Oh, wow, it's been a roller coaster ride. Yeah, really? Uh, yes, it has. Um, I've been uh, very emotional, uh, um, like I am right now. It's Building up. Why, why don't you back up and talk about the initial experience when you were in Texas and I was here doing the initial investigation and, and how that okay. went, including okay. you know the dreams you were having prior to that. Okay. I just told you that I was doing an investigation. Yeah, I just I met David and two months later um, he told me he was going to be doing an investigation. Hmm. I said okay, cool, whatever, you know. Yeah. He didn't yeah. tell me where he was um, going. He just said at a college. Um, and of course, I'm in Texas, he's in New Jersey, and I get a phone call that night, mm. and uh, he um, was like, hey, what's up? I'm like, uh, nothing, I wasn't expecting to hear from you, yes. and uh, he's like, well, I want to see if you can remote view, and I'm thinking, remote view, I really didn't know what the word meant, um, but I knew I could see things. Um, uh, I could see buildings they were like they used to look. Oh, so in the past, like, in other words, exactly. Like if it, like if this building burnt down, yeah, it is. Yeah. I could tell you what it looked like, what it would look like. I see. Yeah. Afterwards, if I had never been in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Um. Uh, I'm sorry. We gotta cut. Cut. <laughs> 